What's up, y'all? It's Franchise Play here with an episode of Fantasy Association. You see, 15-1, and one, the Bulls, we're in Cleveland taking on these Fantasy Cavaliers. And early on, Mike Conley from the baseline with the three made it 5-4 to four at that point. And I'm going to tell you, though, Cleveland, defensively, man, they was doing some things. Now, that was a kind of a bad pass, but Tyreek Evans picks it off, goes ahead and puts down the two-hand slam. We're down by five. And then... The nice easy pass down here to Chuck Hayes. Chuck Hayes missed the shot, outworks Chandler for the offensive rebound, puts it back in. Down by five again, driving again. Little drop off layoff to uh, Tyreek Evans. He's in the lane. He gave me a problem. Mm, yeah, he gave me a problem. They not done though. Tyreek Evans spinning in the lane, left hand lay in, another one. Down by nine points early on. But I was talking about the defense because on the inside, it was difficult, but. Blake Griffin works it out down here, scores that, but he's down by 14, kicks it out for the three, no good. Who the threes wasn't falling very much at all. You see that, missed that shot. Down by 13 points, Drew Gooden gives the ball up, three from Gerald Green. He hits it, but at the end of the first quarter, we down 30 to 18. We got to do something, man. You see this tip slam? I mean, God, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was real out here. Down by 11. The drive kicks it out. Gordon Haywood, he hits the three up top. Yeah, it's a 14 point game. Working it out. Next trip down. Fadeaway jump shot. How could you be, Mo Harkless? On the tip slam, we need a little bit more of Mo because uh, we still down about 13 points. Fast break. Gerald Green says, split this up here. Break this up. This What is a gang meeting? Break that gang meeting up. Look, I don't get in, in here with that. Down by 11 points. Passes it off. Slams the ball down. Harkless again on the slam. Down by 9. Look at the pick. And Mike Conley takes an off balance 3. Fading away from the top of the key. He nails it. Alright, we finally starting to pick things up. But defensively, we got to tighten it up too. Down by 8. Jump shot goes up. Tips it up. Look at Chuck Hayes getting lucky. Gold tending in. Nobody call it. Chuck Hayes, 5'11", 300 pounds, I think. I mean, he is he one of them people whose waist bigger than they inseam. He wear like a 40-30 a, a or a 40-20. He just wide and short. I don't know what his problem is. We down by 10. Paul Pierce in the lane. A little step back jump side. Give me that. Give me that. Give it. Eight-point game. Come on. Where's the defense, y'all? We need some defense. Down by 7. Mike Conley has really stepped up from outside. Got the little pick. Drainage on the three. Drainage. Cuts it to four. Down by six this time. Can be. Hurry up and pass it. You know ain't nothing good going to happen with you got it. Three up top. Mike Conley again from three. Mike Conley not done. From three. Cuts it to one. 54-51. Finally came back and got within range. But look at Jay Crossover. He hits the three. We are back down by four. He became a problem in the second half. But Pierce on the line hits the free throw, ties the game up at 62. End of the third quarter, you know Mike Conley got to get one of these every game. He picks Steve Nash pocket. Give it up, Blakich. One hand slam. Puts it down. We up by two. But look, Steve Nash gives it to Chuck Hayes. He gives it right back. Nash hits the jump shot with 3.9 left. And we go into the, third, uh, into the fourth quarter tied at 64. This is a tough, tough game. You feel me? It's, it's tough out here. Chandler on the free throw line, he actually made two free throws. We had to uh, call somebody for that because we sure that has never happened. He hits the free throw, but right back, Jamal Crawford hits the three. We are up by one at this point, but Paul Pierce like, give me a little of this. Here, from the elbow, fade away. Good. We up by three. 70 to 67, now down one. 71 to 70, Jamal Crawford again. We can't get a handle on this little scrawny dude. He is just acting a fool. The jump, the layup here by Tyson Chandler, he tried to contort himself. We don't know why. Just dunk it, boy. Tyreek Evans layup on the fast break. We are down five at that point, but we're coming back. Mike Conley from three said, you know what? I need to be involved. I don't feel as though I'm involved. Hits the three. We are about 180 to 79, but look at Nash driving the lane. Old man moves. Old man. He puts the layup in. They are up by one at this point. Still up by one. Chuck Hayes. You see, you know what? I can't say enough about the little fat man with the rebounds. 
I'm trying to tell you, he is grabbing boys down here like he has. He just has a vendetta. Look at this. You are too young, tight. You are too young, Thomas Robinson. Too young. I made you mess your pull up with that. The foul and the slam. Free throw good by Blake Griffin right there. It is a two point game. Still same score, 85 to 83. Pierce is double teamed. This is the end of the game. We got to make something happen. Come on, Pierce. Do something with the ball. Oh, what a jump shot there. Gets double team ties this game up at 85. They got a chance to take the lead. Hopefully play for the win for them. Look at Nash. Oh, left hand pass down the lane. You can't. That's not. Boy, that was on. Oh, I didn't like it. But we still got a chance to tie this game or take the lead. Inbound pass to Pierce. Double team came. Shoot the ball. Paul, do something with it. Paul, boy. I don't know. You know how on this game when you can get caught in between like a dribble move and you like shoot the ball, shoot the ball, and they don't shoot the ball. That's what happened. You see, that's happened to me then like caused a shot clock violation before, but it has never happened to me at the end of a game. And I am, I am so, you know, I just, just how I feel. That's exactly how I feel about that. The way that just transpired at the end of this game. But I got to move on. The next game is against the Pistons. I didn't move on yet. Can you hear it in my voice? I haven't quite moved on. You see, I need closure. You ever needed closure? I need it. The Pistons are already up early. Look at this pass from Earl Boinkins. Earl Boinkins is the size of most kindergartners. He really is. He's a, um, he might be in kindergarten. We just don't really know. And down low, look at Conley trying to make something happen. Bobo Cephalosha from three ties this game up at six. Let's do something here. We got to make up for what happened in the last game. That made me feel just inadequate. Fast break three from Paul Pierce. Give that to me. Give that to me. We up nine to eight. Twelve to nine down at this point. Boykins, the kindergartner, inside. Lays it off. Roy Hibbert shoots it in. He makes the shot. They are up by five at this point. We got it. Man, come on. Still down five. Mike Conley, come on. Look here, boy. Look at that three. Ha. 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 Down two. 22 to 20. 25 to 22 at the end of the first quarter. I don't know what um, Miles Plumley is doing. He's jumping around, and he hasn't really accomplished anything in his life. Pump fake. Gerald Green. Is this a gang meeting? Break this up. What y'all out here doing and talking about? Move out of my way. Y'all don't be out here and have doing things. Move out the way. Slam by Gerald Griffin. Gerald Griffin. Why do I keep calling him Gerald Griffin? Y'all say something in the comments every time I call him Gerald Griffin. You would think I'd stop. I haven't. Still, Conley with the old man layup. Did you see that? That was a Medicare that was a Medicare life insurance layup right there. That uh, alley oop. That was just terrible. I mean, he just was like, ah, uh, that's how he laid it in. Uh, terrible. Mike Conley's still hot, though, from three. Puts it in. We are up by three at this point. Here comes the fast break. Oh, gee, boy. Now, I show when I dunk on other people, so I had to show that. Tyson Chandler just got his everything removed. Blake Griffin down low. Kick it out the Fabo. Cephalosha. No good. Rebound. Miles Plumley finally did something. He just threw that at the. He said, throw it at the square. It'll go in if you throw it at the square. That's what he did. We up at two. Fast break. Marcus Thornton is he's been a problem. He's been a problem. He was running off screens and, you know, just behaving weirdly. Just the whole game. And I didn't particularly like it. Nikola Pekovic lays it in. And then they get a weird three-point play because of an over the back call against Earl Boykins. How are you going to get an over the back call against somebody that's three foot two? Over what back? He don't even have a back. The layup in by Kevin Love. Now look at that. You see this? The team they got the front court. Hibbert, Stoudemire, Pekovic, and you got Kevin Love coming off the bench and you see what he's doing. He's he's having a, he's, he's doing some things. We are down by five. Paul Pierce against Austin Rivers. You boy, you are too young, too silly, and you don't know what you're doing. Lay it in. Good. Left hand after the footwork. Watch my feet. Watch my feet. We are down by three. We got to do something. We got to do something because we, we can't have another loss. We're down by five at the half. Somebody got to do something. We need Willis Reed to come running out the tunnel or something. Something's got to happen. Finally get the little kindergarten down here on the block. Look here, little fella. Look here, little fella. Look here, little fella. What you wear? Size 18. You get your little shirts from, from, from Walmart in the Husky section. Take this here. 
and take that home. The slam on Amari Stoudemire by Blake Griffin. Boy, don't you see I'm in color and y'all in black and white? That mean I did something good. Slam it home. We down by two still. Earl Boykins, little fella. Pull up jump shot. No good. Rebound. Blake Griffin. Fast break. Up the Cephalosha. Paul Pierce is waiting on you in the corner. He has three. Hits it. We up by one. 48 to 47. One point game. Still up by one. Down low to Stoudemire. Lays it in. And the foul. Tyson Chandler did not represent himself or Compton well in this game. But look at this. We done put the little fella in the mix. Drive the lane. No good. Offensive rebound. Blake Griffin. Uh, three seconds maybe. No. It slams it in anyway. 2.9. That was 2.9. That was not three. 2.9. Tie game. Fast break. Conley up the floor. Looking. Looking. Driving. Passes it to Blake. For the slam, two hand slam, not one of them ones where you hang on the rim. They've been complaining about people breaking their stuff, so we just have to slap it, tap it a little bit. Ain't gonna try to do too much. Baseline jump shot, Paul Pierce puts it in. Jared Dudley tried to play some defense, uh, he didn't succeed. No good, he didn't stop me. All right, here we go, heading into the fourth quarter. We finally taking the lead at 64 to 61. Somebody gotta close this game out. Paul Pierce, oh yeah, Andre Kirilenko. I think Andre Kirilenko got bed sores or some kind of skin graft on his back. Somebody said it was a tattoo. I don't know what it is. It looked like he fell asleep and his kids drew on his back. I don't know what happened. 68 to 65, give me a pick. Oh Jesus, he didn't make Errol Borkins fall down. You done crossed over the kindergarten boy and made both his ankles fall out of his socks. Look at this again. Oh, gee, he just done fell down. Roy Hibbert stepped on him and everything. We up by two. Mike Conley. Driving to the lane. He is very aggressive when he has a kindergarten on him. If he has any time he's guarded by a five-year-old, he goes to the basket every time. That's that's a quality. Three-pointer by Jill Green. G squared puts us up by five. Something gotta happen though. We only up by two. And again, Thornton with thought he was open. Blocked by Green. Griffin up the floor. Gerald Green! The slam through it through with authority. Mm. Take that out. Take it out, little fella. All right, we are up by four. The pass to Marcus Thornton. Somebody got to fight through the screens. Somebody got to fight through the screens. We are only up by one fast break. Kirilenko, who drew on my back? Nobody. Drops it off for Marcus Thornton. He puts it in. 78 to 77. Conley looking big shot by Cephalosha. Puts it in. They are. We up by one. I don't know who's up. Just look at the score at the lower right corner. Y'all know. A minute and 11 left. Drops it off. Stoudemire lays it in. This is a seesaw game. They are back up by one with 108 remaining. Pierce said, you know what? Forget it. I'm going to do it myself. I'm going to do it myself. Lays it in. It's a one-point game. And we have to play the foul game at this point. Foul Roy Hibbert. You know, at this point, you foul the biggest, blackest man out there, and you hope he misses a free throw. He missed the first one. Went ahead and made the second. All right, so it's 83 to 81. 17 seconds remaining. We got a chance to send this game in overtime a win. Pierce gets it, and here come the double team. That is not what I wanted. That has thrown me off. That's thrown me off my rhythm. I'm off my rhythm. I'm off my rhythm. I can't do nothing. I should have shot that. I didn't. I'm not satisfied with this shot. I'm not satisfied with that shot. Oh, I don't know. My mic's still working. I'm just giving a moment of silence because I'm very... I'm very uh I'm 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 not happy about what happened here. <sighs> what you're hearing right now is quiet rage. I'm very upset. I should have I should have done a lot there. I can't believe I blew two games at the end of the game because of poor execution. I started not to even show y'all this. I show y'all everything. I started to not even put this up. This was not even suitable. But I said, you know what? You show one, you show it all. I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to have to fix my controller because I snatched the cord. Clean out that bad boy after that loss. Y'all subscribe. Follow. Peace.